Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Stacy Chazen, and I am Director of Education and Leadership Programs for the American Institute of Dental Public Health. And it's my pleasure to welcome all of you to this month's AIDPH Echo Session. So we're going to get started, um, and I'll ask my colleagues to please share the, their screen with today's slides. We want to thank all, thank start by uh, thanking today's ECHO partners, um, our partners for this whole ECHO series, in fact, CareQuest Institute for Oral Health, UNLV, the National Rural Health Association, and the Oral Health Progress and Equity Network. We thank you all for your support and your partnership. So for those of you not familiar with AIDPH, the organization's vision is an equity-oriented oral health workforce that is prepared to lead. And we do this by pursuing our mission of fostering professional excellence and advancing innovation in the education and practice of dental public health. Uh, I invite you to visit our website to learn uh, about our diverse set of programs, which include an annual colloquium, which will be um, making its reappearance next spring, we're happy to say. We engage in a range of national advocacy activities, we offer a Dental Public Health Leadership Academy, which is just wrapping up its first year, and we'll be announcing a second cohort in the coming weeks, uh, this Rural Oral Health Echo. We do research uh, on a range of topics pertinent to dental public health. We offer an annual summer research fellowship, a federal service immersion program in the fall, and engage in ongoing education and awareness programs, all in support of the organization's mission. So for those of you not familiar with the ECHO model, it's based in a framework of telementoring as a way to build workforce capacity in states and communities around the country. We engage in didactic and case-based learning using a hub and spoke model through which um, we hope you take the learnings from this series back to your organizations and communities to affect meaningful, sustainable change. And it's an all teach, all learn model, which means we hope that you will come not only with your questions, but with a mindset of sharing your experiences and expertise with others on the call. And that's a, a visual depiction of it. Uh, so this year's focus is innovations in rural oral health which recognizes the distinct needs and opportunities for improving oral health care access and outcomes in rural populations. This year's program builds on last year's through which folks had the opportunity to earn a certificate in special topics in rural oral health. This year, you're able to earn a second certificate. You don't have to have done the first one, um, but you can do both. Everyone has the opportunity to earn CEUs for each session that they attend live and then also to complete competency quizzes in pursuit of a certificate in innovations in rural oral health, this year's focus. Um, and you can do that either by um, watching the sessions live or watching the recordings, either way, completing a competency exam. And I wanna flag that we have reduced the total number of sessions this year to seven, um, and you need to complete competency exams in six of the seven sessions in order to earn the certificate please reach out to us at programs at AIDPH.org if you have any questions about that. And on this slide, as well as on our website, you can see what our topics are for the remainder of the year. Highlighting our session norms, um, I, we a few that I wanna highlight here are we ask that everyone use first names to facilitate equality in discussion. Please add your pronouns to your Zoom name if you haven't done so already. When you speak, please share your name, your organization, and where you're located. Uh, we ask everyone to keep their video on the entire time, but to stay on mute until they're ready to talk, limit any distractions, and please respect one another as well as personal health information. 